My name's Juan Brown. You're watching the Blanco Lirio channel, and this is Pete. How old are you now, Pete? Eight. Today we're going to try Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. It's called a game, but it's actually a wonderful tool for learning some of the basics of how to fly. Pete's going to take us around the pattern today in the Cessna 152. How much have you flown this sim so far? Not a too much. A few times. A few times? Okay, good. We're going to take you around the pattern at Lincoln. We're going to show you the basics about the instruments and a, a basic traffic pattern flow. Typical student pilot flight, learning how to take off and land. Pete, show us about this traffic pattern here. You're going to be using runway 33 here. What's this, to what altitude are you going to climb to? Uh, about 9,000 or... No, no. No, wait. 1,000. 1,000. Yeah. And so what, what leg is this called? A uh, crosswind. Okay, what leg is this called? Downwind. Okay, what leg is that called? Base. Okay, and what leg is that called? Final. Good. When do you know when to turn base? Um, when it's 45 degrees. When the runway is 45 degrees off. Correct. All right, let's go try it out. Yes. Okay, Pete, what controls are these? Uh, Adler. And what do they do? Uh, make the plane go right or left. They roll the airplane right or left, yes. correct? Good. What, what control is that right there, Pete? Um, this is the elevator. Show us how it works. What does that do? It makes the plane go up and down. Good. What control is that right next to you? Um, the rudder. And what does that do? It turns it, but mostly on the ground. Mm -hmm. And you got to coordinate your turn in flight with your ailerons by using the aileron, uh, the rudder, correct? Yes. Do you know what that is right there? Remember the trim? Ah. That's how that's it works. Trim. Yeah, that's ah. your trim tab. That's what actually adjusts your elevator trim. Hey Pete, does the Luscom have any flaps? Um, hmm. There are no flaps on the Luscom. Your Cessna 152 in the simulator has flaps. Yes. So in the Luscom, you got to side slip it. And Pete, what's on the wheels here? Uh, the brakes right here. Brakes right there. And on the on your Cessna 152, how do you make the brakes work? Uh, on top of the rudders, there are little... Right. But on the Luscom, on a lot of older airplanes, the brakes are actually... Oh boy, you can't see in here. There we go. They're heel brakes ah. actuated with your heels right there, and that takes a little getting used to. Hmm. What'd you say it smells like in here, Pete? Flying. Smells like flying? Yes. What does that smell like? It smells like the Luscom. Sweat, cockpit. leather, and 100 octane fuel. fuel. Oh. So, okay. uh, on the Luscom instrument panel, Pete, where is the altimeter? Great. Where is the airspeed indicator? Good. Where is the tachometer? The RPM, engine RPM. You're looking right at it, right? Uh. There, RPM. Good. Where's the turn coordinator? And what do you do with that ball? Step on it. Step on the ball using the... Aileron. No. You step on the ball using the rudder yes. while turning the ailerons. Where's the vertical speed indicator? Good. And all your engine gauges are located right there. Good. And which one's the throttle? Good. And which one is the mixture? Good. Questions? And where's the fuel gauge located? Ah. That's right, right there. There's another one right over there, but you can't see it. Please. Right. Left and right tanks, and the fuel switches, the fuel valves are located right down here. Right tank and left tank. And then the trim. Oh yes, the trim is located in the Luscom, is located right there. Yes. Ready to go fly the sim? 
Golf Sierra, 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 <laughs> so we've duct taped some simulator software together here to the desk and he's got some rudder pedals that he can finally reach. Pete, show us your rudder pedals down there. There you go. <laughs> For the Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. Okay, first Pete, let's uh, do the cigars check. So uh, go zoom outside and show them C for controls. Just, just go straight back, straight back to the back. Okay, show us the control. Start first with the ailerons. Okay, left aileron. When you go, give the aircraft left aileron. No. Left aileron. The left aileron is up, the right aileron is down. Okay, now give it right aileron. Right aileron is up, left aileron is down. Do the elevators. What's that do, Pete? Uh, makes the plane go up and down. Mm-hmm. And show them the rudder pedals. Right rudder, left rudder. And how do you steer the aircraft on the ground, Pete? With the rudders. Great. And where are the brakes on your controls? Down. Down there. Okay, good. All right, C's for controls. Let's go back inside the cockpit. I is for instruments. We got runway heading. That looks good. G is for gas. The gas is on. Can you? I don't know if you can zoom down there and look at the gas. Go. It's down on the floor there. Can you look down on the floor? There it is, right there. Hold it right there. The gas is on. Now look at the fuel gauges. Right there. Oh. Right here is your left and right fuel quantity gauges. They're at a half a tank. Attitude is set for takeoff. Show them the trim. Uh, the trim tab. Sure right there, and it's set in the takeoff position. And show the folks at home how do you adjust the trim on your on your uh, on. controls. Huh? How to, show them how to how you trim the airplane using your yoke. Uh, one is flaps. That's flaps. And the other one is trim. There you go. Trim nose down. Trim nose up. And what do you use the trim for? Um. So if you're going straight, if you make it go down, you'll start going up a little more. Then if you point it up, well if you push it push, forward. Push it, yeah, forward. Then it'll start going down a little. Right, and you trim to relieve the elevator pressure. Okay. That's A is for attitude. R is for run up. Um, we can push the throttle in and check the magnetos. But I think you've shut down the engine completely. Yes, I believe I have. So why don't you um, crank up the engine? Just hit your ignition switch right here. Right. All the way over to start. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Ah, geez. Not too much throttle. It's in parking brake. Good. Probably gonna die again. <laughs> it's cold. Okay, to do a proper run-up, you set the RPM to 1700 and check the mags left and right. Let's assume that's done. Now, let's go over the flight controls real quick. Okay. Tell us what we got here, Pete. Let's see your airspeed. Okay. Tell me what your airspeed is. What are we going to take off at? Uh, 50 or 60. About 60. And what are we going to approach at for landing? Uh, 60-ish. Okay, good. What does this white arc mean right here? Right there? Yeah. Uh, that's when you can lower your flaps. Good. What's this instrument called? The horizon. Yeah, artificial. Artificial horizon. And what does it tell you? Uh, it, which way is up and down. Okay, especially when it's what outside? Cloudy. Cloudy, right. good. What's that? Uh, altimeter. Okay, what's our current field elevation here? Uh, about 120. Good. And what are we going to climb to for this? pattern? Mm, 1,000? Yep, good. Uh, what's this down here? Uh, turn coordinator. Good. And what does that ball mean? Um, if you're going right or left. But you got to coordinate your turn with what? Control. Step on the... Step on ball. the what? Step on the ball. Step on the ball. So that means step on the ball with what? Control. 
Rudders. Rudders to keep that coordinated. Good. What's this? Uh, compass. Okay. Runway heading, 300. What's that? And vertical speed. Okay, and that tells you what? Um, your vertical speed, how uh, fast you're climbing or descending in feet per minute. So five is 500 feet per minute up or 500 feet per minute down. There's your fuel quantity gauges. What gauge is that right there? Uh, oil temperature. Is it in the green? Yep. Okay, and what temp gauge is that? Uh, oil pressure. Good, and it will come up in the green when we power up. Throttle, what? mixture, this? Yep. Uh, carb. Carb heat. Carb heat. Good. Carb heat. Okay, and here at home, we've got which one of these is the throttle? Okay, and which one is the mixture? Good. And yeah, don't shut it down. <laughs> we'll shut it down again. And that's the prop, which we don't use in this aircraft. Why? Because this is a fixed pitch propeller. Okay. All right. And uh, how do you actuate the flaps on this control over there? Okay, good. Okay, get your sight picture set up the way you like it inside the cockpit. I would bring it down a yeah. little bit. Oops. I would bring it up. Yeah, now zoom it. Just use your scroller and zoom it out. Mm -hmm. so Send it up. Good. Okay, take us around the pattern, Pete. And what's your first radio call going to be? Um, white Cessna crosswind. Yeah, but right now we're departing what? Uh, runway 33 Lincoln. at Lincoln. Good. White Cessna departing runway 33 at Lincoln. It's uncontrolled airport. Pattern's clear. You're clear. Clear yourself for takeoff. That cam looks good. And what speed are you looking for here? Uh, 50 to 60. Good. And you're keeping it straight on the center line using what? Rudders. Good. Okay, what can we do with the flaps? Yeah. What speed should we be climbing out at? Um, 60. So yeah, about 60, yeah. 65. So pitch on up to 60. It's a little harder in this view because this camera wiggles around so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're at 500 feet. What can we do? Time to turn crosswind. Turn left crosswind. Okay, what's your radio call? White Cessna downwind to runway 33. Okay, we're not downwind yet. Or, uh, crosswind, I mean. Good. All right. What altitude are we climbing to? Uh, 1,000. Okay, 200 to go. Why don't you start your turn to left downwind? Make your radio call. White Cessna. Downwind, runway 33. Good. Okay, roll out there. Remember that this is a good point down here to aim for. There's your altitude. Stops. Mm -hmm. Bit too fast. Well, adjust your power. Yeah, that's good, right about there, 2,000 RPM, a little more, a little more power. Right about there, hold your altitude, trim is required. Okay, um, go back inside the cockpit. Now go look over your to your left and see how the runway looks. Okay, and when do you make that left base turn? Okay, go back to the inside view real quick. Look to the runway. Okay, I think we should. It's 45 degrees off, start your turn. Bring your power back. Bring your power all the way back, roll out. Go for about 70 miles an hour. Get your flaps on speed. 
Lower your flaps. That's the trim. Flaps. Speed, you've gotten way, way too fast now. There you go. Now, aim for the end of that runway. Hold it at, don't get too slow. Hold it at 65. Power if you need to. And what do you see on the radio? Why just not base? And now you're final. Final. Final on our three three Lincoln. This is probably gonna be good. Blam. Power as you keep a hand on that throttle. Okay, now you're at idle. Flare and land. Beautiful. Blam out! <laughs> good. Okay, do a full stop. On the center line, very good. Reset your flaps and trim for takeoff. And that's how you do it. Now let's keep practicing some more.